Hey guys, welcome back to Bonsai Crazy. I've just uh, finished watching Adams from Notion Bonsai, his uh, video on uh, the weekend with Tony and uh, his little, little extravaganza that he put on for everyone. It's really nice to see um, Alex and Jason and Xavier and Tony, obviously. Um, but really nice to put a, put a name to Alex's, you know, uh, a face to Alex's name. It's uh, that's, a, that's really nice to actually get get to see him because he's such a lovely bloke and he always comments on everyone's videos and it's good to finally put his, a face to his name because the photo he's got is very dark and you can't really see his face, so he's very hidden. But um, yeah, great video, guys, and uh, all the best to Tony, you know, my fingers crossed for you, and I've said a lot of prayers, even though I'm not religious at all. But um, we're going to have a look at my silver birch tree today. I don't know whether you remember, but I put a real big curve in this trunk, and when it was quite thick, um, and it sat here for a good sort of six months now, and it's time to take the wire off. So I'm going to do that, and I might even give it a, a trunk chop. Um, and we're going to give it a little trim. So I'll zoom you in closer and we'll get on with it. All right, guys, so I'm just going to take the wire off here. I'll do it as quick as I can without breaking anything. So I wired this, like I say, about six months ago. And it's really grown well. And I think it's going to hold, have hold its, held its position. So it's really good time to be taking this off. Plus, I actually need the wire for my next video that I'm, I'm making, which hopefully you guys are going to appreciate and like, because I've been putting a lot of work into it. I don't know whether I've quite got the right tree for it yet, but time will see. Right, so that's that one wire off of there. Now, in case you didn't remember, I actually double wrapped this and I used a, a new technique, or my technique, which was literally just to wrap it around once and then do a little loop at the top and then come back down the other way with it. And that seems to have worked really, really well. The... Uh, yeah, it seems to have really taken this. So there's one load off. I'll come back down for the other one. Right, so I've got all that all the way down to the bottom there, so I'm just going to snip it off. And there's the wire I need for my next project.
Right guys, so unfortunately it does look like I've got a bit of bite marks in there, um, which is not brilliant, but I think over time they're, they'll they'll come out. They're not, I don't think they're too bad. Um, obviously it's got a lot of growing and a lot of years left. So it should be okay. All right, so I'm gonna zoom you out now quickly and uh, we'll make a trunk chop and we'll select some branches that we're gonna keep and chop. All right, guys, so down here at the base, um, we've got a little nodule that I need to just snip off there. There we go. We'll put some cut paste on that in a minute. And then we've got this one here, which just needs to be sorted out like that. All right, so as you can see, guys, as you come up, a little bit disappointed with that, but like I say, it should grow out. As you come up, it gets to this point here and it curls curls round in this bend, which I really like. I really like these two these two branches here. Um this one and this one. And I really like this one as well. So I'm gonna make a chop just there, and I'm gonna get rid of this whole top, and then we'll select some branches on the on the rest of the tree so just going to come in there like that and we'll give it a little tidy up Like so and hopefully now that will heal really nicely I'm just quickly gonna put some cut paste on these All right, so as we're coming up, like I say, we've got these two branches here that I really like. Um, so decisions have to be made on it. I really quite, quite like that in that position there, but there's just too much going on on the top here. So I'll put some wire in it probably later on and I'm gonna go with that, like that, in that position. So at the top here, we've got loads of growth going on. I'm just gonna snip the top off like that. And then we've got, we've got two going in two different directions, like so. And I've got an option of a third one, which is right here. Got that option of that third one there. So I kind of like that. I think that looks all right. So I'm gonna leave that branch as it is. And then as you come down, we've got on this branch, you've got this long one, this long shoot here. We've got a shoot coming out on the back, but not a long one. This is another long shoot. And then it goes off and runs off that way. Now we don't need this, I don't think. So I think I'm just gonna chop that there like that. 
and then we can put some wire on this perhaps in the winter we'll put some wire in on on this and we can begin to make our sh the shape that we want now i am actually gonna stop this from growing too much and i'm just gonna snip that off like that makes it a little bit shorter and it won't run away and i'll get some Hopefully I'll get some branches coming off of here. All right, so there we go, guys. There's my summer trim of my silver birch. Um, I'm a bit gutted about the scarring, but I wanted it to hold its shape and there's a lot of time and it should thicken out and hopefully it, it won't damage it too much. Um, I think I've shortened it off and, and made some good decisions on this tree. I'm going to put some wire on it. Um, but for now, for this year, I think this is, is looking all right. And uh, I'm quite pleased with the way it's gone. So, as ever, please like and subscribe. And uh, my thoughts are with you, Tony. And my prayers, I'm praying for you, mate. Um, so please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.